In the spirit realm, Grandmaster Ugwe fights General Kai, a spirit warrior yak who has defeated all the other deceased Kung Fu masters and stolen their chi. Ugwe has his own chi stolen, but not before he warns Kai that someone is destined to stop him. Kai uses the chi he stole to return to the mortal realm. Meanwhile, Master Shifu announces his retirement from teaching and names Pure as his successor. Po's first attempts to teach inadvertently injure the Furious Five, and Shifu, who predicted the calamity, advised Pur he should try to be more like himself and less like Shifu. And then, Pu returns home, where he meets Li Shan, a panda that both quickly realize is Po's biological father, who came to find Pu after receiving a sign from the universe that his son was alive. The two immediately bond, much to the dismay and jealousy of Po's adoptive father, Mr. Ping. After introducing Li to Shifu and the Five, Pu joins the Five to defend the Valley of Peace from Kai's Jade Zombies, the remains of the Kung Fu masters that had their chi stolen. Through research, the group learns that Kai and Ugwe were once friends, and that Kai saved a wounded Ugwe's life by taking him to a secret panda village to be healed. The pandas taught Ugwe to give healing chi, but Kai learned to take chi from others for his own personal power, forcing Ugwe to banish him to the spirit realm. Li offers to take Pur to the village to learn Shi and defeat Kai, while Shifu and the five prepare to protect the valley. Nister, Ping stows away, hoping to drive a wedge between Pur and Li, but is soon discovered. Upon arriving at the village, Li refuses to teach Pu Chi until he has learned to live the relaxed lifestyle of a panda. Kai, hoping to erase Ugwe's legacy, steals the chi of every living kung fu master and destroys the jade palace. Only Master Tigress escapes, tracking down Pa and telling him what happened. When Pa demands that Li teach him how to use chi immediately, Li confesses that he lied about knowing chi, out of fear of losing his son again. Hurt by his father's misdirection, Pa disowns Li and trains alone to defeat Kai, while a repentant Mr. Ping sympathizes with Li and assures him that Pu will forgive him. While training, Tigress attempts to stop Pu and assures him that he cannot defeat Kai alone. Pu rebuffs and the pair end up fighting. Pu reveals his plan to Tigress to get hopefully close enough to Kai and put him in a wuxi finger hold, but Tigress informs him that will not work because of Kai's army and he will never get close enough to use such a technique. Realizing this, Pu finally admits to Tigress he cannot defeat Kai and his army alone. Li Mr. Ping and the pandas ask Pu to teach them Kung Fu. Realizing what previously made him fail as a teacher, Pu trains them to not imitate his Kung Fu, but instead to use their everyday activities as Kung Fu skills. Between training, Pu and Li reconcile, and both prepare for Kai's attack. Kai arrives with his jade zombies and attacks the village. Po's students fight them, distracting Kai long enough for Pu to try the Wuxi fingerhold technique to banish Kai to the spirit realm. Kai reveals that the technique only works on mortals and savagely attacks Pu. To save the others, Pu grabs Kai and uses the Wuxi finger hold on himself, banishing them both to the spirit realm. Infuriated, Kai binds Pu and begins to steal his chi. In the mortal realm, Li, recognizing that finding one's true self is the key to unlocking chi, leads the others to give their chi to Pu. Rejuvenated, Pu uses his now augmented chi to destroy Kai. With Kai gone, the Kung Fu masters have their chi restored. In the spirit realm, Ugwe reveals that he sent Li a cosmic message, explaining where to find Pu. Ugwe also reveals why he chose Pu as the dragon warrior. As a panda, Pu had the potential to become a master of both Kung Fu and Chi. Ugwe names Pu his successor as Grand Master and gives Pu his mystic staff which Pu uses to return to the mortal realm. After reuniting with the others, Pu takes on his new role at the restored Jade Palace, where all the pandas and the residents of the Valley of Peace learn Kung Fu and Chi.